the upper offices, the executive offices, said, hey, we got this out, blah, 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 blah. When this happens and that happens, this is what you're going to do. Not the guy on the ground. Not the guy dealing with the people. The policymaker in the stuffy, crusty office with the Perrier. Out of touch. And as this just fungus of government just grows and grows and grows out of control, somewhere in the middle of that, people got to fight to say, hey, don't forget this thing, this thing, this thing, or this thing, or this thing. Don't forget this, don't forget this. And they need to be heard. Because if they're not, and that thing is forgotten, bye-bye, it never comes back. They never go backwards to fix their mistakes. They like to go forward and pretend like it was their idea rather than a mistake or a correction. Whatever. I don't care. But this is getting a little hairy and a little dicey. Right? I mean, I'm going on months. Months ago, I was given a prescription to have a stress test and see a cardiologist and was told I either got COPD or cancer, lung cancer. Can you imagine being told by a primary care doctor who's been fucking you over for nine years, who now is committed to being a part of your care and nothing gets done with you through that clinic without his knowing. Put his foot down. Like, holy fuck, I can get in a lot of fucking trouble for this. I can't let this shit happen. This is not supposed to be the way it goes. This is not the way it's supposed to go.